strangers to being thrust into the limelight since their reality show, John and Kate Plus 8, premiered, can you believe it was 17 years ago? So, you know, the show captivated the world, huge ratings and a lot of controversy, including even new accusations directed at Kate by one of her children. But John Gosling and his daughter Hannah are focused on the new chapter of their lives together, a transformation that could not have been done, they say, without each other. Together, they have reset their lives and lost a combined 75 pounds. <laughs> and they say it's an effort to live a more positive life together. Please welcome John and Hannah Gosselin to the stage. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank, I tell you, us. this is why I love our audience. This is always a safe space. Pe our audience roots for folks. And I can tell that from this reaction. Uh, Hannah, I got a little misty eyed seeing you because I feel like I've literally, like the world, watched you from tiny baby to young I lady. Know. Um. I, I can't wait to hear about the the journey together because I do think that we always need a wing person, a teammate on any journey. This is mm. your wing person, <laughs> and, it's, and it's great when it's your kid who can be there for you. We heard Little Rel even talk about his daughter and son uh, really being there for him. Before I, I start, John, and I, I'll be very honest, Hannah, this is a challenging thing to talk about with you here. Um, but John, you know the recent headlines with Kate and Connor, uh, one of your children, um, where he has accused her publicly now of mistreatment. Uh, he said in an interview that Kate had zip-tied his hands and feet together and bolt locked the door, turned the lights off and had cameras there just watching him. Kate, uh, we reached out to her for a comment. She did not comment, but her lawyer told Fox uh, News Digital September 11th that uh, he's been practicing law for 43 years, and he can assure us that if she was harassing or abusing her children, given her public exposure, the authorities would have taken the time and removed him from the family. Um, that's in part, and the statement up on our website as well, uh, from the 17 years of headlines, and it keeps coming. Uh, what mm -hmm. are your thoughts on this? Tom? Well, Collins, it's not really accu accu uh, accusations, but... Uh, Colin told his story, and uh, I support him, and that was, you know, he wanted to get that out there, and I didn't want to intervene at all, yeah. so that, that was out there. Um, Kate's attorney, well, that's another situation. It's not really Kate's attorney, right. but whatever. But uh, for my son, you know, he's doing well at school. He's doing well. Yeah. Just saw him the other day. Um, he's focusing on moving past the Marines and going to college, okay. and, you know, he's really... Yeah, you know, it was closure for him. It was closure for him. Um, and as he is finding that personal closure, the two of you have found this chapter together. Um, and it came through the form of focusing on your health. Correct. Hannah, whose idea was it to jump in? Was it dad? Oh, well, yeah. it was definitely his idea. Yeah. But I was all for tagging along. What did you want to, <laughs> what did you want to get out of this experience? Um, I think it's just for him, for what I felt is I really was concerned about his health. And I know that his... Well, my grandfather passed away when he was 62. Wow. And, you know, health is like a really important thing, you know, for surviving yeah. and <laughs> staying alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, this is the before and after. I'm sorry it just popped up like that, because I, you know, the, the, <laughs> I'm not shy. Uh, the, the journey started on what date for you? When did you oh, get serious uh, about it? End of February to, you know, like, till now. But, that picture was February to August. That was from February mm -hmm. to August. Um, Hannah mentioned you losing... Uh, Hannah mentioned you losing your father when he was young. 62 is young, so yeah. that always is in the back of your mind when you've had a family member, a parent especially, who died too soon. Yeah, especially when you're close to that age. When you're close to... So as yeah. you were approaching the, the, his age, yeah. you started to think... I got to get it. I just want to get right for my kids and be healthy and be around. And, you know, and I'm, I'm in a new relationship now, well, three years. Yeah. So you kind of, like, start thinking, like, oh, marriage and all this kind of thing. So 
you know, you want uh, longevity. Yes. And I was more concerned about my heart health yeah. than my actual physical health. Right, right. You weren't yeah. like, you're like, it's like your heart's a muscle. So, so basically, you're like, I'm not trying to thirst trap on the internet. Right. I am here trying yeah. to get healthy with my life. Like, what picture should I put? <laughs> what picture should I put? <laughs> it's so, so embarrassing. How did, no, it's okay. How did you convince Anna? Uh, well, with a, a friend of mine, uh, Adriana, we pretty much said, like, you know, how are we going to break this tour? I pretty much said you're going to do it. With oh, you, oh, you <laughs> oh, he gave you no, no choice. I pretty much got a call last yeah. at college. And this is like, what you're going to do. So, how do you feel about losing weight? And I was like, where were you, you on your weight journey? Because it's always, listen, I'll tell you. It's they do like They, they yeah. do like man bod and all of that. But we man. know for women, especially young women with social media, yeah. it's a different kind of conversation. Um, he called you. Where were you at mentally with your... Well, I think at that point, I didn't realize that I had gained so much weight. But this is kind of funny because I was like, are you calling me fat? Are you t are always, you telling me? Always. I was like, are you telling me that I gained weight? And I was like so offended because, right. I mean, who would it be? Who would it be? Yeah. But, yeah. but I think this through this whole journey, my biggest thing was I'm not doing it for like other people. I think my biggest thing I wanted to do it for myself. I love hearing that. Coming up, how did they lose the weight? Hannah and John on their transformational journey. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Making breakfast, so we're doing eggs, and a little egg sandwich, some juice. That's my morning right now. Every day I go for a walk. It's about 4.7 miles. I try to switch it up as much as I can. It's good for your heart, low impact. It's just gorgeous, very peaceful. So you get mental health and heart health. I've also been using this new technology, a body contouring machine as part of my overall wellness routine. This has been a lifestyle change for me. I eat better now, I work out every day, I do cardio every day. Yeah, it's what I do, people. Welcome back, we're here with Father Donna Duo, John and Hannah Gosling making headlines for losing a combined 75 pound weight loss. So you work yeah. out every day? Every day. Every well, four days a week. Four days a week? I'm here now, so. Right, well you miss out. It was kinda early this morning, so. And how does it feel, how does, your heart health and the doctors telling how you're doing. All my lab work is fantastic. Right. Um, it wasn't fantastic. It wasn't before. No. Did you have high cholesterol before? High, high LDL, high ACL, high everything. And all of your numbers are better yeah, now. Yeah, they're up uh, below normal. Now. Wow. Yeah. So you, um, uh, you you talk about the, the fact that this journey was together in the break. We were discussing when you called Hannah to to try to encourage mm -hmm. her to lose weight and how challenging of a conversation that is to have with well, your I, child or anyone. I know she gets easily offended. So That's I was okay. like, how do I tell someone they're overweight without offending them? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you're concerned for their health. You're yeah. concerned for their overall And parent. it's your child. And she's yeah. away at college. You're a sophomore now. Yeah, I just think one thing that I just really didn't realize, like I was, I had just gotten into my relationship with my boyfriend and you know, you get comfortable and you know, you go to eat together and you go to the movies and you eat like all those snacks and things and you don't realize You're that. blaming your boyfriend? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, exactly. but it, no it, 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 your dad gave me that line. It's college though too, and it's also being away, fast food, grab yeah. and go culture that we live in. Yeah. And you're just, and you said when you went to college, you went through a little self-esteem issue because. Yeah, I think. It was hard. I mean, all my roommates are like this big, and then I was like, I like came into college, and I'm like, you can't. It's harder. You can't, you know. Hey, can I borrow those shorts? Hey, can I, <laughs> can I borrow one of your like some of your clothes? Because it's like different, yeah. you know. And now it's so much. You work out how often? Um, I usually I walk. We, me and my roommates try to walk, like once a day after right. class and stuff. And then we have a gym on campus. Yeah, and, and you also have taken a, a weight loss drug off and on. Uh, One yes. of the, the popular weight loss medicine. Yeah, so we did a semi-glutide, mm -hmm. which is a generic form of yeah, yeah. your name brands. And um, yeah, we did that for, I started in February, I ended it in August, um, and then I went to the machine. Right, so you've uh, kind of balanced it out yeah. there. I know another big thing in your life is your girlfriend, Steph, mm -hmm. um, and Hannah had a big revelation for me. She did the, what, what does this mean? You ready? I'm waiting. Waiting I'm on. ready. I'm ready for oh, you to no propose. Pressure or you want him to propose to his yeah, girlfriend? Yeah, I love Steph. She is like, 
She is mm -hmm. the most supportive, sweet person like ever. Like, oh. I love her too. <laughs> John's like, I, I love her too, and my child has just outed me on TV, yeah, TikTok like, with it. <laughs> so, how do you describe this phase of your life? I mean, 17 years in the public spotlight, as I said, we met you when you were a tiny, tiny baby and your siblings. Uh, 17 years later, do you look back and think it was worth it? How do you process that now? Well, I get to meet people like you. Um, nice answer, so, safe answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I don't really have regrets because I am the person who I am now, Yeah. you know, because of it. And I, those are decisions uh, Kate and I made a long time ago. Yeah. I mean, I get to work with my daughter too, so. Yeah. Um, and finances and all that kind of good stuff. But the people I met along the way and the things I learned as a young adult moving into my 40s, um, I'm glad I learned those things then, yeah. then later in life because yeah. it's hard to recover that way. Yeah. So um, I always take it as a lesson, uh, blessings and lessons. So, um, so you've lived you know. long enough to learn from the lesson and have a new chapter in your life. Exactly. Well, I'm very happy for you. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you.